your son or daughter will have had an assembly uh, today. They were able to have a live lunchtime question and answer session with me. However, that didn't happen, so that's fine. And then we've got our um, expert panel on board for this evening. We're doing four till five and then five till six p.m. Um, so what you're going to find out about is the choice of courses that we have on offer, what college is like, and you know the careers and next steps for your son stroke daughter. So as I said, I'm your lead this evening and my name is Sandra. Um, Sarah Carter unfortunately isn't able to join us this morning, uh, this afternoon, sorry, but we do have Kane here as well. So I'm going to ask the staff to introduce themselves one by one. So Kane, could you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Kane Fleming and I'm the Digital Marketing Apprentice at Friends College. Thanks, Kane. Nicola? Hi, I'm Nicola Newton. I'm a tutor in the Education and Early Years Department. Perfect. Barry, could you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Barry Atkinson. I'm a lecturer in Health and Social Care at Furness College. Thanks, Barry. Margaret? Have you got your microphone on? Hi, I'm Margaret Graveson and I'm a lecturer at both Rain and Channel Side for IT and Business. Thank you. And Claire? Hi, I'm Claire McClay and I'm a lecturer at Channel Side um, Catering and Hospitality. That's perfect. Thank you. Is there anybody, is any more staff joined us that you can see? I don't, I, I don't think there is, but I'm Liz, just um, Sandra, yes. Liz North is with me now. She'll be joining us very shortly for Hair and Beauty. Perfect. And then we're expecting Helen Rostelli, who is um, Assistant Head of Barra Six Form. She's going to be joining us as soon as she can. So I'll just carry on through the PowerPoint, OK? So what I'm going to do is, is whiz through these screens and then we're going to allow you to ask us all the questions you want to ask us. Um, about what's on offer at the campuses and hopefully there's somebody online who'll be able to help you. Um, Kane will do some frequently asked questions as well and we'll type some links in the um, in the chat down the side, okay? So we are the beating heart of education in our community and why would you want to choose us uh, to come and study with us after leaving Alston? So, Furness College, as you probably know, is the largest provider of education and skills training in Cumbria. And we are based on two campuses, but we also have a third site now. Um, so we're actually based at Channel Side, which is down by the Hollywood Park. We are based at Rating Lane Sixth Farm, which is on um, near St Bernard School and up by the hospital. And we have a third uh, string to our bow now, which is called CORE which is creating opportunities for real education and that works out of um, College House on Duke Street in Barrow. So um, in 2019 we were rated good by Ofsted with, with the inspectors praising the quality of the provision that we provided across all of those uh, places. We have the biggest choice of courses in Cumbria uh, ranging from apprenticeships right through to A-levels, BTECs, CTECs and on to degrees. So you could actually study with us from leaving school and go right through and need um, a degree. And that may be good for some people who maybe don't want to move away from home and to uh, in incur a lot of debt. So um, we were successfully selected to run T-levels from 2021 and I will explain a little bit more about those as we go through the presentation. So if you were going to study with us down at our Channel Side campus, which is the one down at Hollywood Park, um, this is where we, we offer our full-time vocational courses, apprenticeships and our higher education. And for those of you that have been down there, you will have seen the facilities, but for those that haven't, it's a world class £47 million campus. So we currently offer skills and training and apprenticeship training to a large number of employers in the area, such as BAE Systems. We also offer training for Siemens and we do all the uh, uh, delivery of our apprenticeships for the BAE um, shipyard workers. So our focus is on providing high quality education and skills training, not just for young people, but for adults across Furness and beyond. 
and the campus itself has amazing facilities like I've just said. We have second to non sports facilities, we have a hair and beauty salon, we have a catering restaurant and kitchens, we have um, a, a, a superb gym and we have lots of learning hubs and areas where students can study when they're not in their classes. So if you were to come and study at Channel Side, you would only pick one of the subjects listed on your screen. So if you look at those, some of them may be familiar, such as sport and IT, but there'll be things on there now that um, are going to be open uh, for you to take up for when you leave school. And you would only pick one of these as your main course study. What we would do in some in in some um, areas is that if you do not achieve maths or English at grades four or above, then you would have maths and English built into your timetable. So would, you would do one of these courses and then maths and English built into it as well. Our sixth form campus, it's a smaller campus. We have around 500 students and class sizes average between 16 to 18 people in a class. Um, over at Sixth Farm, you can study A levels, B techs, C techs, the new T levels, which I'll explain a little bit more about, and you can retake your GCSEs in maths, English, and science. So that's something to think about. Um, our tutors over at the campus are specialists at post 16 teaching and treats each student as an in, as an individual, and also it's more of an adult environment. Um, research shows students who join a sixth form college are better prepared for the next move to university. So that's something to think out, you, you know, to think about as well. Um, it's a proven path to university and on to higher apprenticeships. And we have a wider choice of courses than a school sixth form. Um, last year, 100% pass rate um, and 57% 57 of those were A star to B in 2020, which is impressive. So when you come to Sixth Farm, you would pick three of these uh, su subjects that are on this list. So again, some of them may look familiar, like IT or English or sport, but there's new stuff on there as well that you know you can now access. Um, if you're um, very academically able, then you may be able to pick a fourth student as an honours student. So you would either pick another um, subject off here or you may do an ex extended project qualification alongside so three possibly four um, if you were to study at our rating lane campus now i mentioned t levels these have been rolled out uh, since september 2020 however ours are rolling out in september next year so this will be when your son or daughter leaves so what is a t level so it's 80% classroom based and 20% work. So it's like the flip side to an apprentice where it would be 80% in work and 20% in the class. So what makes a T-level? I would say the most important thing is the 45 day industry placement. So this means instead of being out there um, at different places of work and maybe doing a week here or a couple of days here, you will do a 45 day industry placement. So that's 315 hours over the two two years. Um, the uh, the T level is equivalent to three A levels. So it's quite a hefty qualification in itself. T-levels are technical qualifications that have been designed by businesses and employers and we work very closely with them and so have uh, the government to, to bring in this new qualification. Um, we're going to be uh, delivering four of these from September 2021 and like I said, they're equivalent to three A-levels with the industry placement. So we're going to be offering at Channel Side a T-level in health. So for anybody who maybe wants to be a nurse or go into midwifery or something within the healthcare sector. At our Rating Lane campus, we're going to be offering a T-level in science, which is going to be based on uh, lab sciences. So anybody who's got a strong interest in science, then this would be a good one for you. We're going to be offering at Channel Side a T-level in education and childcare. So this is for anybody who maybe wants to go into primary teaching, classroom teaching assistants or something like that, but working in that sector. 
and the final one is going to be a T-level in digital. So like me now, I've learned some new skills over lockdown and um, I'm using platforms that I never thought I would be able to use and there are platforms out there that like are even more complicated than this and young people are going to be accessing those as well. So those are the four that we're going to be offering. Over time we will be adding to these and each year we will be adding new ones 